The next question we're going to address is what's been your biggest accomplishment? And this one has several different variations as well. Another variation of this question is tell me about an obstacle you've overcome or tell me about a time you've demonstrated leadership or you've demonstrated persistence. And what the interviewer is looking for here is they want to make sure that you have leadership ability. You're not just a student that sits in the back of the classroom and doesn't do anything extracurricular and just kind of bumps along through life. They want people who are going to come into their university and make contributions. They also want to show that you're dedicated. So when you answer this question, pick an example of something that you actually had to work at to be good at or something that you put a lot of effort to accomplish. And then they want to see that you can get results. They are trying to find people to come to their university that can get things done. To answer this question, I recommend you use a framework called the star story framework. And I'm going to break it down and show you what constitutes a star story. The S in star stands for situation. First, start your story with the situation you were in. That way the interviewer is going to be able to picture what you were doing and then say the task you were trying to accomplish. That way they know what your goal was. Next, the A in star is actions. What did you do? You could say first I did this, then I did that, and then finally the R in star is results. That means what did you accomplish? So remember that. Tell them the situation, the task, the actions, and the results. And that way they'll be able to follow along and understand what your accomplishment was. Let me show you an example for a student who's interested in education. In this example, the student might answer what's your biggest accomplishment by telling a star story that goes something like this. When I was a sophomore in high school, I was part of a tutoring club and my task was to help a freshman improve their English grades. What I did was first I identified the area that they were struggling in and their biggest area of struggle was they were having a hard time differentiating when to use an adjective and when to use an adverb. So I created a game where they would get points for being able to recognize adjectives and adverbs and the student loved it. The student was very engaged because they liked that idea of scoring points and seeing when they were accomplishing something. And as a result, I was able to get that student from being a C minus student up to being an A student in English. That's a really good example of an accomplishment that is perfect for somebody going into education. They explain their situation, the task, the actions, and their result. Let's look at one more example for somebody who's interested in communications. So if somebody says, what's been your biggest accomplishment to somebody who's interested in communications, that student could say, Okay, when I was in my junior year, I volunteered at an animal shelter. My task was to help the animal shelter find homes for dogs and we were having a really hard time finding homes for the dogs. So I decided I would use social media. I created a Facebook site in which I would post videos of the dogs and I tell a little story about each of the dogs and a little bit about their personality, a little bit about what kind of home would be a good fit. And I got very active at making posts on that site. And as a result, we increased the number of dogs that were adopted by 40% and that was directly related to people who found the Facebook posts, came in and adopted dogs. That's a really good answer for somebody who's going into communication. They had a clear situation, a task, they used their communication skills on social media to get a result. So think about things that you've accomplished and then break them down into what situation were you in, what task were you trying to accomplish, what actions did you take, and what result did you get. Now make sure you pick things that have a big impact. You helped a student, you helped an animal shelter, you accomplished something that you got an award for. Pick a really good story with a really big impact. It helps if you benefited others. Universities don't want just a bunch of students that are coming in looking out for themselves. They want students that are going to make a contribution to other people and make sure it includes something that requires some effort and you got a clear result. Some things that don't make good answers is don't pick something that's common. If you say, oh yeah, my biggest accomplishment was I got an A in math. Well, most of the people applying for that university got A's in math. Pick something that's unique to you. Don't be vague. You want your result to be really clear. Don't say, oh yeah, and I made somebody happy. 
say, no, I took a student from a C student to an A student, or I increased the number of animals that were adopted by 40%, or I got first place in a science fair, or something that is very clear what your result is. Don't be too self-centered. Don't make it something where you got an advantage over somebody else and you benefited and, and it hurt them. And then don't make it something that's too easy. Make it something that's challenging. So think through what are your biggest accomplishments and practice your story. What was the situation? What were the tasks? What were the results that you got? What actions did you take and what results did you get? If you want tips for answering more questions that you might get during college admissions interviews, then just click on the link below. It'll take you to a site that has tips for the most commonly asked interview questions. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and best wishes. I hope your college admissions interviews are amazing.